Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you how to find the surface area of a rectangle and a cylinder. Um, so we'll deal with the rectangle first. First of all, we only take the surface area of a, a rectangular prism because a rectangle is just two-dimensional, so we actually find the surface area of three-dimensional figures. So when we're talking about a rectangular prism, just the 3D looking rectangle, you need three dimensions in order to find the surface area. You need the length, the width, and the height. So let's say we're going to label this 5, uh, 3, and 2. Okay, and my formula is going to be surface area equals 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the width times the height. So essentially what you're doing is making sure that you pair up each of these numbers and then multiply them by 2 because whatever the area of this front piece is right here is also going to be the area of the back piece. So that's why we multiply each of them by 2. So we're going to go ahead and substitute things in now. So I have surface area equals 2 times length times width. So we have 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 2 times length times height. So we have 5 times 2 is 10. And 2 times width times height, which is 3 times 2 is 6. Now we go ahead and simplify these numbers. So I have 30 plus 20 plus 12. I add all these up. I get 30 plus 20 is 50 plus 12 is 62. So whatever my units were, let's say these were inches, we're doing surface area, so it is actually square units. So my surface area would be 62 inches squared. So that's for a rectangular prism. Now if you wanted to do a cylinder, the formula is Two pi r squared plus pi times diameter times height. So you have your cylinder. When I say r squared, I'm looking for the radius of this cylinder right here. So you need to know that value. And then the uh, diameter is obviously just double the radius. And the height would be given to you is the height of the cylinder right there. So once you have those three values, the radius, the diameter, and the height, you can go ahead and substitute them into that formula to find the surface area of a cylinder. So that's how you find the surface area of a cylinder and a rectangular prism.